Good morning, class one. Welcome to your English literature class, children. So we have cha completed chapter eleven of your book, right? Previous day we have completed the chapter that is chapter number eleven, and the name of the chapter is Goldilocks and the Three Bears, right? And we have done the back exercises also of this chapter that is making connection. And the question answer that is read, reflect, and write. I'll send you through Telegram. No worry. So today you open your book at page number nine six ninety six. Okay, nine six ninety six. What all we will do today? This is page number nine six ninety six. Open your book. Take a pencil in your hand, and we will do this what all today. Okay. So let us read the question. Are you all ready with a pencil and an eraser? I hope you all are ready. See the question is jumble words. We have done jumble words many times, isn't it? Here are some things Goldilocks found in the bear's room. We know that Goldilocks she entered the bear's room. When she entered there, she uh, she uh, saw some thing, some objects. Here the pictures are given that she has seen inside the house. Okay, on the left right side you can see some picture given, and on the left side some letters are given which are not arranged. So you have to arrange them, and you have to. Uh, help Goldilo, uh, Goldilocks to know what they are. She wants to know what is the name of this thing. Okay, she wants to know the name of this thing. So you can, what you have to do, she wants to know what they are. So looking at the picture, you have to unscramble the words. You have to unscramble the words and help Goldilocks to do so. Okay, here you can see on the right side, you can see some letters given, some alphabets are given here. Okay, and these are not uh, arranged one. Okay, these are not giving us any meaning. B E L E T two meaning. But here you can see the picture. By looking at the picture, you can make out what is this. Suppose this is a table, this is a chair, this is a bowl, these are spoons, this is a bed, this is a, this is a pillow. But here what happened on the Right side, on the left side, some letters are given. The meanings are not clear. Letters are given. The alphabet, English alphabet, letters are given. You have to rearrange them and write it. Means you have to unscramble them. Okay, first one see B E L A T. It has got no meaning, right? Has it got any meaning? B E L A T? No. So, but we can see here the table. So, using these letters, we can make a word like table. First one is. T A B L E table. T A B L E table. So how we'll do? T A B L E table. This way I have written for you. T A B L E table. No worry, I'll send again. But you have to listen properly. Okay. Next picture you can see on the right side. Number B is a picture of a chair. Here H R A I C. It is not giving us any uh, meaning. It is not giving us any meaning. So the answer here it will be. You have to arrange it. C H A I R chair. As we see the picture of a chair, you write C H A I R chair. Number C B W L O. But here we can see the picture of a ball. Okay, so this is not correct. B W L O no meaning. So you have to write B O W L ball. B O W L ball. This is ball. Isn't it? Number C is ball. Number D. Number D. You can see there are five spoons. Spoons. You all know. You are familiar with. So the letters given here are uh, is like uh, S O O N S P. No meaning. So you have to rearrange it. Unscramble it. So we have done. We have written S P O O N S spoons. S P O O N S. As there are more than one spoon, so it is spoons. Done. S P O O N S spoons. Number E B D E B. Here we can see the picture of a bed. So D E B means B E D bed. B E D bed. Then number F L L O W P I. No meaning. Here we can see a soft pillow, so the answer will be pillow. P I L L O W pillow. P I L L O W pillow. You will write here pillow. So this way we have found we have helped Goldilocks to see what are these. This is table, chair, bowl, spoons, bed, pillow. Okay. So we have done this exercise. Now come to page number ninety-seven, ninety-seven, ninety-seven. Food pair. We'll do food pairing. Okay, here see, match the picture with what they go with. Here you can see on the left side you can see some picture. Butter. Uh, sorry, this is what. These are bread. Then I hope this is tea or coffee, and these are some ice cubes. This side names are written. 
number 1 is written juice then number 2 is biscuit number 2 is butter number 3 is biscuit okay now food pair means we like to eat uh, the things that match that go with that other one like if you are eating uh, some uh, suppose noodles you need some sauce over there right it goes with each other right same way if you are eating some bread you want butter when we drink coffee we take some biscuits right same way you are eating you are drinking juice you need to you like to eat a chill uh, juice isn't it chilled one then what you will do you will put some ice cube to make it chilled to make it cold more cooler isn't it so this uh, this is what we call food pair so we have to match it so first one is bread so definitely we have i have done it for you bread will match with butter tea or coffee will match with biscuit and this ice cube will go with juice isn't it so this way you draw line and match this this is food pair this is this is what this is food pair okay food pair so this way we have done this exercise and next day we will do the grammar time till day till today we will do this one okay so do it properly in your cw copy i'll send you one picture also for your convenience thank you and have a nice day